Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new release preview video. Today we have the brand new 2022 Heritage for you. This just came out today. Pretty excited about it. I always love new releases no matter what it is. From tops opening day, the lowest to the low end to the highest to the high end. I love opening it all and I hope you guys like uh, checking it out here on the channel as well. So here's our box. I'm going to compare this also to last year and we'll see if those print runs are a bit higher and, and I suspect that they might be. One thing I noticed about the box is it's definitely longer than last year. Last year there was three rows. Here's a hobby box from last year. There was three rows of eight packs each. Now it looks like they're going to give us four rows of uh, six packs each. 24 packs per box. There's one autograph or one relic card in each and every box. Nine cards per pack. That's the same as last year. And the 1973 design will be featured throughout this product. I'll take a look at the print odds here once I pull a pack out. You can see the cover of the box. You got Trey Turner, Judge, Vladdy. You've got Tatis DeGrom. And you've also got Shohei Otani. So no Mike Trout. He's noticeably missing. Maybe he'll be back in the next release as a box cover guy. Maybe. Tops Inception, I think, is the next Tops release coming out. But anyway, let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we can find. Our sponsor for this video is Dellen. Thank you very much, Dellen. And we will be going live, breaking a few cases of this tonight. I've got two hours set aside for a live stream, probably getting started between 9 and 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. So I hope that you can join us for that. All right, inside each of these boxes, you're going to see a box topper. They're either going to be a poster or an oversized card. Here we get a Willie McCovey. That's not an actual on-card auto. It would be pretty cool if it was. But you got a 1970, uh, I guess it's a, is that a 73 style super size card of Willie McCovey Hall of Famer, not a real auto. So a little something extra for those folks buying a box. And kind of cool this year, they have different images on the card or on the packs as they switch it up a little bit. So let's take these out and see what we can find. 2022 Tops Baseball. And before, or Tops Heritage Baseball, before I rip these open, I want to take a look at the print runs on this. So I brought a pack from a, Her a Heritage 2021 box. And we're going to take a look at those odds and see if it's a little bit harder to find some of the parallels. So last year, you could see that a black border card was one in every 78. This year, we'll take a look at the print odds. It is one in every 96. So right there you're seeing, I don't know, 25% print increase from last year. Um, just based off of that one number card right there. Now there are short prints in this. The short prints are going to be the last 100 cards of the base set. Which is going to be cards numbered 401 through 500. So um, you might want to check it out as you're looking through your cards. I'm going to do it uh, probably after the video, or um, Dylan, you can check it out after the video. Now, for those short print cards, there's no major crazy names in there. Like the Wander Franco um, is not a short print, but, um, you know, just check the back of your cards, 401 to 500. They might be worth a little bit more, not too much. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this, folks. I'll give you a, a better view one last time at all the odds. You can pause that. I think that's pretty crystal clear. And there's also the no purchase necessary stuff. So, heck, if you watch all my videos, you can just pause it and, and try to get some free cards by sending a postcard in. 1973 Tops Design. Here we go. And look at this. Look at this. We have a hot box. A hot box for the preview video. So, if you don't know what a hot box is, it's gonna it will contain a purple parallel in every single pack so these are these are about one in every i think it's one in every 12 boxes one per case one box per case is going to have that these purple parallels which is pretty awesome can you imagine finding a wander franco so pretty nice hot box time now they're not numbered but uh they are pretty awesome so let's take a look here we have jose siri leading things off and uh, man that's an awesome card right there that is a roberto clemente that is literally the exact same photo they used for his original 1973 three tops card which was his last ever card so um, i'm hoping that people don't get this confused as a real uh, um real card because I, I wish i had one sitting nearby i could just grab for you that's the exact same image it is framber valdez we've got a then and now card of jim palmer and robbie ray Mookie Betts, the hot box card. There's the back of it. We got Ernie Clement looking a little bit like a young Bryce Harper there, and Enrique Kike Hernandez. 
Doesn't I've noticed he hasn't been using the name Kike on his cards recently. But Enrique Hernandez is the last one there. Next pack up. Let's see what we can find in this one. It's going to be a hot box. You'll see a purple parallel in every pack. We're looking for the Wander Franco. I don't know if we're going to find him in this video. The odds are eh, maybe one in every two-ish boxes finding him. There's Aloy Jimenez. Nice hot box purple parallel. And Key Brian Hayes, one of the top rookies from 2021, is in there. Hope everyone's having a very good Friday. Again, no face-off Friday today because we are going to be doing here today. And there he is, Wander Franco on the very front. The Gold Cup and the rookie logo, Wander Franco in pack number three. I would love to be able to find this in a hot box parallel. I don't know what that card goes for in a hot box parallel, but it would be a pretty penny for sure. His base tops card is about uh, it's still about a fifteen dollar card, I believe. It's Casey Mize. We've got Trey Mancini right there, Joe Barlow, and Rafael Ortega. So, what do you think about the uh, Heritage hobby? You have to let me know in the comment section. Personally, I feel like they kind of uh, took away a little bit of the shine of this set by using the '73 Tops design in archives just a few months ago. So this. Uh, it's not like it's all that new. There's Jared Walsh. And we've got Eric Lauer is the last one there. Next up, let's we'll see what we can find in this one. Good old Salvi Perez on the front of that pack. We've got J.D. Martinez. There's Bregman. Love the fact that we got a hot box in the preview video. I always love it when we get a nice big hit in the previews. There's a Kyle Hendricks. Or, you know, something that you wouldn't see, like, in every, you know, like a run-of-the-mill box something special I'm glad we got the wander for you too here Dylan. Dylan will have a spot in the live stream in a little bit we'll be live tonight once again around 9 p.m eastern time or 9 30 there's matt duffy Luis heel rookie card we've got christian arroyo there's a tim anderson batting champ tim anderson and Dolis garcia gets a big gold cup i'll tell you what it seems like the gold cup cards are extra large on this and the rookie emblems are still a little bit smaller than you like to see by the way, the backs of the cards are an exact replica of the dot design on a 1973 Topps card. Pretty cool. I like these pack wrappers, too. I like how they have the different players on them. Nice little extra touch. We got Jacob deGrom. There's Harrison Bader down in spring training. Spring training is going to be starting soon. There's Eric House. That's like almost in his backyard. There's a tree in the background. J.P. Crawford. Mariners might be looking to upgrade shortstop. Could they possibly make a run at Trevor Story? There's almost 200 free agents still out there on the market, and we're going to see a whole bunch of those guys signing. Is the players are going to be reporting to spring training in just a few days, and they need to find homes. So um, hopefully we uh, get homes for all these guys and can see who's on what team. There's Julio Arias, the wins leader from last year. We've got an upside-down card. It is going to be our hit, and it's Vladdy. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is going to be the hit, and it is a – Game used jersey of Vladdy. Very, very nice. We'll take that one. Vlad Jr. Game used. There's Jose Barrios as well. So not a bad box. This is about the typical box. Actually, it's not the typical box because it's a hot box. But you're going to find a relic is what I'm trying to get at here in most hobby boxes. I would venture that... I would say one out of every five or six boxes will have a relic or an autograph in it. So one out of five or six. If I open a whole case of 12 of these for you, and you can keep track in the live stream tonight, I'll probably do about 24 boxes or so. Maybe two cases worth. There's a Miggy. Man, Miggy's looking a little older now. Of course, he is older. Um, he's definitely a Hall of Famer, though. Josiah Gray in his Nationals uniform, and Gene Segura is the last one in that pack. Will you buy Heritage if you see it out and about? I'm trying to think. I, I don't really like how I've heard all these rumors, that, and I, I heard it from my case guy as well, um, that they're jacking up the price of everything by 25%. So that means a a, a, um, a blaster box of these, if that's true, is going to be probably around $25 instead of the good old 20 The age of the $20 blaster box is now possibly over. Nice Aaron Judge hot box. There's Vladdy. And Corbin Burns, your Cy Young Award winners right there. Burns and Ray. Nice card right there. Those cards are a headache, though, for breakers that do team breaks. Got to figure out who's going to get that one. All right, Mason Thompson, rookie card. Young Jin Ryu. Uh, that's a nice picture of Mitch Moreland. There's G-Man Choi. We got Ryan Velade there. And nice little 
landscape in the background. Almost looks like it's in front of a green screen or something. Luke Voigt, your home run leader from a couple years ago. Kenta Maeda. And Brian De La Cruz is the last one. For me, personally, people always ask me, who are the best rookies in this class? I really, for right now, it's just Wander Franco. Beyond that, it could be anybody from this uh, from this set who's going to be the next hot rookie. And it will be somebody besides Wander Franco that makes a step forward. Someone's going to start off the season hitting like 330 and, uh, you know, playing really well. And their rookie cards are going to skyrocket. Uh, you saw that last year with guys like Bobby Dalbeck taking a big step forward in spring training and him going from like the 10th best rookie in the class to probably like the first or second best rookie in the class by April. Your mean Mercedes, same deal. It's almost like they're all stocks. So some folks will sleeve up every single rookie regardless of who it is because you never know who's going to be that next big time player. You saw guys like Randy Rosarena come from nowhere and Kyle Lewis. Uh, Joe Ryan, rookie card. That's a nice one. Love the hot box card. Shane Boz. I like that one a lot. Nice seeing a Shane Boz rookie card. He was not in Series 1. I would put him in the top five for me personally. I mean, he's a Pirates former number one pick. And he pitched really well uh, for those two starts when he was called up. Of course, the Pirates gave up the farm, including Shane Boz for Chris Archer. But we don't want to talk about that. There's Sean Murphy with a little smug smile on his face. Mike Moustakis. We've got an Aussie, obviously. I should show this one to Heather. Mike Moustakis looks very similar to Heather's brother. Almost uncanny. uncanny. There's Ozzy Albies, uh, Jesus Aguilar, and we've got the rookie outfielder's card. I guess they felt like none of these guys deserve their own card. Kind of interesting how Tops will do that sometimes. I've noticed that like with 2018, they did some rookie combos, and none of those guys really panned out. I wonder if they're just like, ah. We should probably give these guys a car, but they're probably not going to be good enough. I don't know how they determine that. You know, uh, every now and then, though, um, we saw with Heritage in years past, like they, they don't give Bo Bichette his own car. He has to share it. Or um, Jordan Alvarez, they have to share it with other prospects. I didn't really understand that. So it's nice that you don't have Wander Franco like on a half card with somebody else this year. There's Raphael Devers, another good hot box card, folks. Some good ones in here. There's Shane Bieber throwing a nice pitch there. Bieber is going to be healthy he's got crazy good stuff Cy Young stuff Shane Bieber he's a bounce back candidate he was hurt most of last season at least the second half there's Ian Anderson he's a guy to keep an eye on guys if you don't have some Ian Anderson rookie cards they're cheap you might want to grab some now just just for the heck of it just to have Jose Ramirez another great veteran name there Mookie Betts and Tyler Anderson former Pirates he was actually like our ace there with a 435 and run average before being traded. Which isn't saying too much for the Pirates rotation. I can't wait, by the way, to go see some games. I was looking over the schedule. So happy baseball is back. It's Patrick Corbin, he was a bust last year. Patrick Corbin's earned run average, 582. It's not been good. Had he had that one good season in 2019 uh, when, the, when the Nationals basically won the World Series with like three pitchers. And uh, has not really been good since, despite that long contract. That's a great picture of Walker Buehler out there in San Francisco. We've got a Brian De La Cruz, hot box purple. Kevin Pillar is the last one. Kevin Pillar got an MVP vote. Was it last year or the year before? Kind of strange. One single MVP vote. Somebody ranked him 10th in the voting. The way the MVP vote works is you, you list 10 players, and the higher you are on the list, the more points you get. Like if you're in 10th place, you get one one point if you're in ninth place you get two points and so on hot box is john carlo stan i'm still waiting for john carlo to, to bounce back just injuries have kind of plagued him the last few years looking at his home runs he did come back last year and hit 35 but uh 2019 2020 almost lost seasons for him on the back of the baseball card austin riley that is a cool picture there up there in the stands i like that picture austin riley he's poised to be a star Another guy, if you haven't grabbed uh, Austin Riley rookie cards, you might want to do that. This next pack feels a little thin. There's literally, instead of nine cards, there's six cards in here. So a thin pack, and it might be good for Dellen because something's flipped upside down here. Let's see what that's going to be. It's a Jose Abreu. And wow, a Jose Abreu autograph? I don't think that was supposed to happen. You are only supposed to get one relic per box or autograph. And now we have two. It's a hand numbered out of 73. So probably literally this will be the best box of any of the boxes we open. Yeah, there's a nice Akil Badu. Shout out to Fuzzy. 
But let's uh, let's revisit this box because I'm I don't think I'm lying to you here, folks. There's only supposed to be one. I've been opening heritage for years now on the channel. It's always one autograph or relic. You get one, usually never two. So that's that's pretty awesome. A hot box, a relic, and an autograph, and we've got the Wander Franco. This is everything you could want from a preview video. Can't do much better than this. A hand numbered red ink, Jose Abreu. Something went wrong there in the the uh, box stuffing process where they gave us an extra hit there. And it uh, looks like Timmy may have heard it and come down. Did you hear me screaming around? Mm -hmm. We got we got an extra, we got a bonus auto. We weren't supposed to get an autograph in this box, and we did. And it's a Jose Abreu. Vlad Jr., and it's a hot box. See that? So, uh, yeah, every single uh, pack has a purple parallel in it. And so far, there's been a lot of good parallels. Timmy's been helping me with the Patreon packages today. He's been folding up the $51 boxes and assembling those. How's that going up there? Nice. And what are you going to take for your payment? Because I'm going to reward him. Pay, are you going to take money or are you going to take baseball cards? Baseball cards because that's what I'm going to end up buying. Anyway. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. That's what I would do too. There's Seth Beer, rookie card. Nice seeing him with a rookie card in this. Fernando Tatis Jr. Hotbox. Hey, you just brought the Tatis out. That's Timmy's favorite player. Check that one out. All right. I'll be up in a second to see how it's going. We've got three packs left. Corbin Burns on the back, James Caprillion on the front. There's Trent Grisham. Adam Duvall had a nice comeback. Jared Kelnick, he looks sad. Poor Jared Kelnick. He looks so sad right there. Cheer up, Jared. Jared, of course, had a rough season last year. Only hit 181. Still had uh, 14 dingers, and the uh, he's got he's got uh, he's got a lot of potential. I do believe Jared Kelnick will be a multiple time All Star. And there's a nice Bryce Harper hotbox parallel as well. So I'll tell you what, these hotbox parallels have been really good veterans so far. And uh, I do believe this will probably be the best box of the entire day. We'll open, we can open two more cases of these 24 more boxes. They're probably not get anything like this. Um, this is not your typical box. This is a good one. A hot box with a bonus hit in there. Francisco Lindor, Will Smith, and Jesus Sanchez. And on to our last pack of the video. By the way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you hit that thumbs up button for me. If you're new around here, I hope you hit that subscribe button as well, that big red button. It's free to do so. If you'd like to support the channel a little further and participate in the breaks like Dellen is doing, you can check us out on Patreon. We do breaks are for Patreon members. It's $4.99 a month. $4.99 per month. There's a link in the description. Uh, or you can just Google Jabs Family Patreon. Join Jabs Family Patreon. And uh, we also have a channel membership in the description as well for the same price, $4.99 for the auctions to get members only time in our auctions. To get free cards whenever you win something in our auctions during that members only time. Final card of the video is going to be a Rolvis Chapman. So pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. That was a great box. Dylan, Congratulations. I can't believe we got a bonus autograph in there. And now, now that I look at it, they're all kind of um, off center there. So Jose Abreu, hand numbered out of 73 in a weird six-card pack. You got a Wander Franco in there, and you got a Vlad Relic. How about that for a little trifecta? So that's it, everybody. By the way, the price point on these boxes, currently they're still for sale on Tops. They just dropped about an hour ago. Uh, they were $100. After tax and shipping, you're probably going to pay about $115 per box. Uh, if you want to get them directly from Tops, I'm not sure what they're charging for shipping, but typically it's at least $8.50 on a hobby box from Tops.com. I don't know how long they'll be available for, but I just figured I'd give you a heads up. If you buy them on some of the other sites, it's probably going to run you almost $130 after tax and shipping. I believe they're like $110, and then they charge shipping and tax. So uh, that's, uh, that's some options for you. We're breaking these live tonight. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday, and I hope to see you in the live stream tonight, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.